And we begin with the latest on an arson investigation out of Madison County. Officials say they now believe at least 10 fires across the county were intentionally set last night. A suspect, here he is, is in custody tonight. This is 24-year-old Nicholas Tremaine Hubbard. He is facing an arson charge for at least one of those fires, according to Huntsville Police. Way 31's Alexis Scott joins us live from the Huntsville Police Department now. She spoke with business owners and people who were impacted by this. Alexis, what did they tell you? The main question here is why everyone wants to know why someone would intentionally set a fire with people inside and right now that is still under investigation. Now I did speak with one business who say they were able to put out their fire and actually help find the culprit. It was a pretty full bar It's not something that you expect when you're running a restaurant on a busy Saturday night. Eugene Jung and his crew were working Saturday night like normal when they say a man came in and said he wanted to use their restroom. Moments later, Jung's employee told him there was a fire in the bathroom. I didn't know whether to believe it or not. So if I walked over to the bathroom and opened the door and there's a four foot flame coming out of the trash can. Where 31 has confirmed 10 total fires happened at businesses in the city of Huntsville in Madison on Saturday night like the Publix near Champies, Plato's Closet, a Dollar General, and more, all in the span of about two hours. And now surrounding businesses are fearing they could be next. It's knowing that somebody could do this in our community and affecting our businesses is not something nice to hear. Huntsville police say Hubbard is connected to one arson and police say they're investigating to see if he's connected to any of the others. But some business owners say they can't win with COVID and now someone's setting businesses on fire. We're all trying to recover from this and that's just one more thing that's setting a lot of these businesses back. Now Plato's closet was forced to close due to the damage and several witnesses told me off camera they're nervous about what happened. Young staff say they provided Hubbard's license plate to police shortly before he was apprehended and he says he's thankful no one was harmed or injured. Fortunately our staff stayed pretty calm and reacted appropriately and uh, you know, we were able to help catch you know participate in helping catch the guys. So. Now, Hubbard is currently in jail right now with a bond of $60,000, and HPD says there are more charges coming soon. Now, I've also asked if they're looking for any other people in connection with these cases, and right now I'm still waiting to hear back. As far as anything else, this is a very active investigation still to this day. We're reporting live in Huntsville, Alexis Scott, Way 31 News.